To repair any of the RK series pumps, you will need these tools. Repairing the pump requires several kits. Kits may vary depending on the pump. Check our website for which kit is right for you. Both the discharge and inlet valves on this pump are the same, so I will only show you one set. To replace the valves and O-rings, start by removing the valve caps on the pump using a 24mm hex socket. Clean the valve caps and their sockets of any debris. Take out the three discharge valves with a pair of pliers. To remove the valves, grasp the cage with your pliers and pull. Use a pick to take out the O-rings under the valves. Clean or replace the O-rings and press them flat in the bottom of the pump. Take the new valves and place them squarely into the port. Press down to make sure they are securely on top of the O-rings. Use a drop of Loctite or Teflon tape on each of the valve caps so they seal properly. Reapply the valve caps and torque to 478 inch-pounds. To replace the pistons, water seals, and piston guides, you will need to remove 8 manifold bolts with a 6mm hex socket. Using two screwdrivers on opposite sides of the pump, hoist the head up so it can be lifted off. The piston guides may stick to the pistons. To easily remove them, rotate the crankshaft so you can easily twist and pull them off. To replace the pistons, you must first remove the piston nuts using a 13mm hex socket. You must clean the piston rods and surrounding parts of any debris. Lift off the copper washers from the top of the pistons. To take off the pistons, you must twist and pull them off of the piston rods. You can turn the crankshaft to adjust the height of the pistons. With the pistons off, you can now remove the brass slingers. Next, remove the O-rings on the piston rods. Also remove the backup rings below them. Now add on the replacement backup rings. Roll the new O-rings over the piston rods to put them back in place. Put the new brass slingers into their position on the rod. Now twist and slide the new pistons back over the rod.
After putting the replacement copper washers on, use a drop of Loctite on the piston threads. Put the piston nuts back on and tighten. To remove the guides, you can use two tools. The first is a small reversible pliers which hooks right above the seals. The next tool is a slide hammer which can be put in the piston hole to pull the guide out. Be careful not to scratch the pieces you are not replacing. Now we can replace the seal within the guide using the pick. Make sure not to scratch the guide or puncture the o-ring. To put the new seal back in, pinch and push it back into the hole. The flat side must be facing up when inside the guide. Replace the o-ring on the guides as well. The first item to go back into the head will be the replacement support rings with the curved side facing up. Next comes the high pressure seal. Its curvature should fit on top of the support ring. Place the new water seals in at a 45 degree angle and work them in. Push the guides back into the head with the flat side facing up. Put the manifold back onto the body with the pistons like this. You may use a soft face mallet to make sure the head is on all the way. Reapply the head bolts and torque to 218 pounds. When torquing the head bolts, use a crisscross pattern to evenly distribute pressure. 